Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of predictions using experimental data. This is standard 7.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a study of population. So we've got 1,200 total frogs. And then we get this little ratio right here. 12 out of every 180 frogs in the population have spots. So we are looking based on these results, this is our experimental data, how many frogs do not have spots. So this is when we are looking for what we call the complement. So this is the kind of the other half of our experimental data. We know 12 out of every 180 have spots, so how much do not have spots? Well, I'm actually going to make a proportion here, and I'm just gonna give, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a try with this 12 out of 180. I'm gonna actually use the 12 out of 180 simply because this is has spots. I'm gonna put HS over total. And I know I'm looking for did not have spots. But I'm going to uh, look for that out of a total of 1,200. So look at this cross multiplication I'm going to have to do right here. I'm going to have to do 12 times 1,200. Now what happens if I don't use that? If I just say, all right, so if there's 12 out of uh, every 180 frogs have spots, then I need to take 180 minus 12 from that and it's going to get 168 so this is does not have spots so i could make a cross multiplication like this 168 does not have spots and that's over my 180 total and i could do that same thing and i'm looking for does not have spots and that's over 1,200. So unless I've got a calculator, now look what I'm doing. 1,200 times 168. So I'm gonna stick with this first one here, and then I'll just subtract that answer from 1,200, knowing that I'm gonna find the amount of frogs that have spots. I need to find just one extra step at the end, but it'll work, trust me. So let's do this 12 times 1,200. Well, let's make it look like this so we can kind of see what we're doing equals 180 and I'll just call that HS all right well 12 times 1200 is pretty easy because I know uh, the strategy for multiplying by multiples of 1000 or 1000 I just take my non zero so I'm just gonna multiply 12 times 12 I know that's 144 and you add your zeros at the end so it's really 14400 equals 180 HS I still have a big division to do I need to divide both sides by 180. That's a lot better than trying to figure out what 168 times 1200 is. So let's do 180 into 14400. All right. So 180 does not go in 144, but it goes into 1440. I'm going to guess. Eight. I think it's pretty close. Nine's, I think, a bit too big. I know eight times eight is going to give me 64, so that's going to give me a nice four there. That's eight. That's, you know what, that's exactly what I needed. That's eight. All right. So that's 1440. Look at that. Nice and even. I have one more zero, so let's bring that zero down. So that's good. So our answer here is 80, but remember, the answer is not 80. We did all that work, but you know that that answer is going to be there. So 80, we have 80 out of 1,200 have spots. I want to find the number that does not have spots, so it's just one little tiny step at the very end. Is we just need to subtract our how many have spots from 1,200. And that's going to be, there we go, 1,120 or 1,000. 120. That makes a little bit more sense. So our answer here is D.